All right, so this is a GX390 head that's going to be going on a real big block bottom end. Uh, it's going to have uh, 43, 36, or 38 valves. Um, and we're doing, we have this set up in the mill because what we're going to do is we're going to weld the oil passages shut. Um, so that way we can get a lot more port flow by opening this up into the oil passage. So on the small blocks, it's pretty simple. Um, basically, because it's just a one-shot deal, you can put a rod in, but these have a bend in them. So on these, what we do is we take this, we set it up on the mill, we mill this open, and we open up this side, and we take off this side here and the top here and uh, allow for us to get a nice clean cut. And then we can come in here and we can weld this from the inside out um, so it's hard for me to do the milling while I have the camera so let me make the cut and then I will show you after it's finished all right so we've made a couple passes we had to trim this off uh, it was hit in the quilt so we're going to just keep making passes lower and lower and so we can open this fully up and I'll get back to you. All right, so we pretty much finished up the cut. And this is what we're left with. We've opened it up so we can see inside these oil paths here. This back corner got a little tricky because these fins kept hitting this curved part of the quill here. We were able to mill this one down, but these ones, I just wanted to leave them just so they match up with the block nice. I didn't really want to cut into those. But yeah, as you can see, as I got deeper, it started hitting, it was like a taper, which messed up with the taper. So as I got deeper, it couldn't go as deep. But yeah. So now we can go in, just fill this all solid, and then we could take that port and bring it that much wider. Actually, I'm probably going to mill this off here and just fill this whole thing with weld. All right, let me do that and I'll get right back. All right, so this is what we ended up with. Took down some of this because the tube is actually going to be an angled tube. So it's actually going to come up here. This is all going to get filled with weld. Removed. There was like a screw boss here. So it came down, cut that off, so I can get all in here with the weld. I'm gonna have to remove this, but with a grinder. It's just too much of a curve here to cut on a mill. So I'll cut this off with the grinder, be able to fill all in down here with the weld, build this all up, build all this up, and then the tube is gonna be not straight, but at an angle and offset up here. And then we're gonna fill all this in, build this back up with weld, and give all material here to pour it out to. So we're going to get a max flow on this fucking head right here. A lot of work.